Well, today I'm going to bring you a cherries haul. <laughs> it's really heavy, this box. <laughs> now, um, I don't know if any of you know about cherries. Oh, also, just let me say, if I have time at the end, I'm going to put on a, a small Marks and Spencers clothing haul. Uh, we'll see how long this video takes. <laughs> Um, it's not a massive order from Cherries, but um, I love all, uh, the thing is, um, it's not a sponsored video, this. Uh, I bought all this with my own money. Um, a while back, uh, Cherries did send me a voucher to use, um, which was really kind of them. But whether they didn't like my video, I don't know. They've never been back in touch. But anyway, they are a fantastic website. Um, and i just love it because you can have i mean what they are is they're a bit like home bargains or poundland but they're online and um the prices are fantastic but the, the good thing about it is that they deliver it to your door and i think i'm not sure how much you have to spend you don't have to, probably about 30 pound i think it is and it's free postage um and often on youtube if you look at youtubers who are doing cherries hauls there will be discount codes for your first shop. Um, I'm not sure whether mine works. I'll, I'll, I'll sort it out uh, and put it in the description box. But that may not work anymore because it was a while since I um, I did that video. But if not, just go onto someone else's cherry hall and, and they, it, they'll have a discount code, you know. Um, it, it's worth looking. Now, what I like about it is because they deliver it, you don't have to carry it. I mean, that you can see how heavy this box is. And I've got a Cherry's box. Last time it, it just came in an ordinary box. Uh, and I was a bit disappointed it wasn't a Cherry's box. Um, they are very strong boxes, um, you know, if you want to use them for storing things. Like all your Easter decorations. <laughs> you, you don't know what to do with now. It's not Easter anymore. So mine may be going in the Cherry's box. Right, it takes a bit of getting into because it's such a strong box. I should have opened it beforehand, really, shouldn't I? The way things are going, I may not have time for the small marks and spencers all. We'll see. Right. So, it's come well wrapped. There's like paper at the top. And this is all the things in the box. To be truthful, I've forgotten what I ordered. Um, and it doesn't take long. I did this order on the 26th of April and I think it came, did it come? It came about the 20, it came about two days later. It was really quick. I was really surprised at how quick it was. Right, um, I'm just going to go through what I bought. Now I got some Domestus bleach because that's always heavy to, um, carry um there was cheaper bleach than this but i do like a, a thick bleach um and i like them white i hate it when you get a bleach and you put it down the toilet and it's it, it's yellow it looks really bad so anyway this was a pound so that was really good i was pleased with that now i got two kitchen rolls the large ones because although they're not, oh, well, I've thrown one on the floor. I was throw things on the floor, don't I? Um, although they're not heavy, they're bulky, aren't they? So, you know, I like to get those as well. So those were, they were a pound each. I bought two, one's on the floor, as you can see. Um, then I bought a pair, you know, my fake tan disaster that I had on my face. Well, with that in mind, I bought some gloves to try and scrub it off, but I don't think I can scrub it off my face. But maybe if I make a mistake on a body fake tan, I've got some scrubbing off gloves. So they were, how much were they? I have to keep looking at my iPad. They were a pound. You see, it's very similar prices to the pound shop, isn't it? I like to get these in case we have any children visit. The problem is... I eat them <laughs> but they are nice aren't they now these were 85 p which i think is the same price as in home bargains they're a lovely little thing to have in your cubby if any children come because there's like um they're 83 calories a bag which is good 
if you do eat them <laughs> and they stick little bags in there so that's nice i mean it's not even 15p a bag is it i'm just throwing all these on the floor right glasses on again right the dog is up oh my dog's looking up some smackers i've got two uh, packs of smackers um for the doggies they won't last long the only way i can get maybelline giving us a, a treat so they were 95p each and I, with doggies i got some doggy poo bags we always need a doggy poo bag now i'll have to see how much they were there's 50 in the pack and they were 95p but but they are the thicker ones I got some fairy liquid original now i do prefer the green but they didn't have the green so i thought i'd try the lemon which is one pound ten pence i got now i did think that it'd be bigger than what it is but it it's 250 mils so um you know i've no i've no idea what 250 mils looks like but that's the size of it um it's a lux body uh, shower gel and it is if i can find it it is a pound and i bought two of those perhaps as well i bought two because they're not very big <laughs> but i'm sure it'll be nice it says soft touch for long lasting alluring fragrance I'm going to be smell alluring right next with the fake tan in mind <laughs> i bought a dove nourishing body body care visible glow self tan lotion fair to medium skin and it won't be going on my face i'll tell you my face is sore from keep struggling scrubbing all that fake tan off that i put on before now that was two pound fifty then i bought some biodegradable washlets that are supposed to be fine to flush down the toilet whether they are or not i don't know I probably use them on the dogs really to be truthful these are a pound each i was going to take one on holiday i thought it might be useful an elvive shampoo protect shampoo that was two pound fifty i think that's about average you know for a, a cut price shop um i do like this shampoo because it's got uv filters in and with having my hair colored um it um well i th hope it protects it i mean as you know my favorite's the paul mitchell one but um this is all right you know i use this as well right what else have i got in here oh some imperial leather soap this is the only apart from hand wash and that this is the only soap i use i think it's um lovely the original and this is two pound it's very good for washing all parts of your body if you know what i mean because it's not fragranced really so it's two pound it's like 50p a bar isn't it oh i got these as well i don't know what these will be like it's a fragranced oil set now how much were they can't find them on here oh here three pound and there's three of them and the 10 mils each um there's opium i don't know what opium smells like gardenia and rose well i love gardenia fragrance and i love rose fragrance so that will be nice i mean they've got it like in an oil burner here but i'll probably put this in my diffuser a good little tip i'll tell you is it sounds a bit weird this but i saw this somewhere and it is really good if you've got visitors come in and you want your bathroom to smell really fragrant um if you put a few drops of essential oils on the inside card of your toilet roll um every time 
they pull the toilet roll it really smells lovely um and it really works because quite a few people have said to me what's that lovely smell in your bathroom when you use a toilet roll so that's quite a good little tip you know i only do it when i've got visitors coming i don't do it normally but it's just a nice tip so they were three pound then this time of year the dreaded hay fever so i got two packs of these allergy relief uh, they were 80p each oh throwing them away as well so what have i got left oh i got two of these fairy non-bio i really only use non-bio um probably because my children have sensitive skin so i've just got in the habit and this is my favorite fairy so i bought two of those and they were, because you see, all that would be really heavy to carry. I think they were five pounds each. Yeah, five pounds, which is pretty average for fairy. And then I got four tins of spaghetti. Oh gosh, this is heavy. Four tins of spaghetti. I've looked for spaghetti lately, and they always leave spaghetti rings. And I don't care what anybody says, they don't taste the same. I love spaghetti on toast with an egg on top. Uh, and they were 14 for 225 so that's the end of my haul but can you see how strong that box is i'm definitely going to store something in it and now my floor look at my i'll show you my floor <laughs> that's a right mess so let's see how long we've been 11 minutes yes i think we might have time to do the small marks and spend some floor. look at all the stuff on my floor can you see it Anyway, I'll just stop this now, put those away and come back and do the haul. Right, I'm back. Um, what happened was I got, um, you know, on your sports card, you can get discounts sometimes. Well, it was 20% off clothing. Um, so I thought I'll order a couple of things from a holiday. I need to sort out what I'm actually taking. Um, I bought this T-shirt. Uh, it was 12 50 but obviously there was 20% um, off. So it only worked out at £10. Then I got the same card, uh, same, oh, cardigan, same T-shirt in the green. And that was the same. And the, as I say, there's only a few items. And then the other thing I got was these trousers. Um, they're like wide-legged, um, three-quarter crop trousers. Uh, I will try them on in a minute. Now, another thing I did buy... I think I'm going to send this back, um, was uh, one of <laughs> the lovely Sharon Re Reed um, suggested, you know when I had the red dress on the other day, she suggested that um, a basket bag would look good with it um, and she mentioned that it was a nice one in Marks and Spencers. Um, well I had seen a nice basket, well it wasn't actually a basket bag but it was like um, a basket weave bag across a shoulder one or crossbody you could have with a coloured flap on which I know I would use more and I think they were in Primark and I saw them on um, on the Primark's Instagram anyway as you know I went to Manchester yesterday oh I just have to say that I did have a really nice day for my golden wedding um, I went to a travel centre with my friend um, and we went round the Primark, didn't buy much at all, didn't see much in that Primark at all. Uh, but we made a couple of purchases at Selfridges Beauty Counters, which I'll be showing you shortly. Um, and we did have a nice day. And then um, I came home and I got a young man coming to cut the uh, my grass. My grass had got really long, you know. And um, I managed to get this young man who, who's setting up a gardening thing. So... Um, he came, so I had to be back for him. And then I went to stay at my daughter's overnight. So that was really nice. And then to, this evening, um, I'm going out with my family. Unfortunately, one of my sons isn't here. He's in Thailand, so he can't come. And then my son-in-law's away for the weekend. So it'll make it cheaper, won't it? Because <laughs> you know, I said I'd treat them. <laughs> so anyway, um, so, so I did have a nice... Um, golden wedding day really and i've gone completely off the subject of what i was talking about so as i say i went we went to primark and i looked for these bags that i liked but when i saw them i mean when on instagram you couldn't tell but they were only about this big there were those mini bags that are fashionable well it's no good for me 
So I'd ordered the um, the basket bag from Marks and Spencers, and this is it. Apparently, um, it's a copy uh, a dupe of a dupe of some designer bag, um, and it is nice. I have to say, um, I think they do it in different coloured leather, but I quite like the white. Um, and I don't know if they add the others in, and it's got like, can you see here? It's got like a drawstring to keep your things safe. And then there's a pocket in the side here, which I'm assuming you can put your phone in. And then a big wallet type pocket here. I don't know if you can see a zipper pocket that you could keep things secure in. But I don't know whether I would, I prefer the straps to be longer. I know it's a fashion but I prefer these straps to be longer because I do like to put something on my shoulder and I don't think I'd be going round like that. I mean, I know it's a fashion, but it's not me. So I think this is going back. Also, can you see some of the basket work is broken? I know it's difficult, um, but I mean, it was 29 99 So it's not, I mean, I know it's not designer prices, but it's not cheap, is it? So I think I'm going to send that back. I know it's a lovely bag. I just don't think it's for me. Anyway, I'm going to, I'll go and put, try the things on. It's only a couple of things and I, I really, I can't be bothered to iron them. So I'm not ironing them. I would normally, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so I'll just put this away. No, I'm, I'm not going to keep that. I'm going to send it back. And keep a lookout for a shoulder one or one that I can put on my shoulder, you know. Um, I like to have my hands free quite often and I know that you can't have it free. Um, I had a bad fall once when my hands weren't free and it, I'm nervous if, if I don't. Um, I mean, I'll tell you about the fall some other time, um, but um, I'm sort of nervous if I've not got a hand free. So I think I'm going to send that back. Anyway, I'll just go and try the things on for you. Right, this is a t-shirt. And I don't know, I should have bought a little footstool and shouldn't I? Can you see the, the, the thing is, I know they're very bright, but it's for a holiday, it's a nice pocket. And to be truthful, they're very cool. So I will be keeping those. Quite like the t-shirt, that's all right. Quite like the longer length. I think it's a bit more flattering when you're bigger. Um, and I'm sure I don't need to try this t-shirt on. I'm sure, because it's exactly the same. I'm sure you can imagine what it will look like <laughs> just to save me trying it on. I'm a bit fed up of getting changed, I don't know why. <laughs> right, so that's the little Marks and Spencers haul. Let me know what you think. I just thought these t-shirts are very lightweight. I thought they'll be really good for taking on holiday. And I thought you can also just rinse them out very quickly, I think, if you need it to. So I'm pleased about those. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll go down around here because there's a pile of clothes where I was sat before. <laughs> so, oh, can you see my garden? You can see my, um, my cut grass. I'm really pleased about that. Oh, I don't think this light's very good. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I'll, um, I'll see if I can find that uh, cherry's code that I had. And if that doesn't work, I would say just Google somebody else's cherry haul because if they've had things gifted, they will be um, they will have a code in their link. And you can also watch their haul, you know. I do think it's a really good website. It's really good for getting heavy things and, you know, the prices are good. So I'd, if you haven't looked at it, I would look at it. And I think if you download the app, you get a discount as well. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm going to go now. So bye for now. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you these beautiful flowers that my sister-in-law bought me uh, for my golden wedding. It was a really nice surprise when I came back from the traffic centre. She'd been round and popped them in. So I was really pleased. Aren't they lovely? I've got some other ones as well. I'll show you those in a minute. I also, I also got these from uh, my other sister-in-law. So they're really nice as well. I do love flowers. Also, um, my daughter bought me um, 
a golden wedding rose bush for the garden, which is really nice. Um, lovely idea. And my friend bought me um, a special anniversary rose bush for the garden. So that's really nice, isn't it? I'm really pleased about that. You'll have continuous memories. Oh, don't look at the bottle of vodka. I don't drink that much. <laughs> in the corner. I just can't fit it in the cupboard. 